Just like to offer a big shout out to Touchdown Digital, the sponsor of this week's video. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Glenn Samuel, and you're watching Sniper Photography. Now, today I want to talk to you about another subject. Which, um, if you were to do this, I firmly believe it'd help your photography greatly. Now, it's got nothing to do with going out and buying the latest and greatest equipment. That's not really how you improve your photography. Now, people that watch this channel, uh, you do, they do know that, or we do know that I print a lot of images. And printing a lot of images is the final piece of the puzzle. And it's also a good way to uh, demonstrate your um, work. Plus also too, it helps you refine your, your skills as a photographer because every time you go out with your camera, you automatically think, well, this shot I'm going to print, so I have to give it everything that I've got to make sure that it's 100% spot on. But there's another way you can um, find a way, or there's another way you can improve your photography, and that is by making photo books. Now, photo books are absolutely fantastic to, to do, to make. And I've been making these for some time now, and this particular book is, I just, it only arrived this week. Um, it's a 60 page book. Um, as you can see, it's quite large. Uh, it has 60 different images in it. Um, so we get some reflection. But it's high quality paper in these books. So, and I'll put a link to the company that I use down in the description box below. But Doing photo books is another good way of helping you improve your photography. Now, why would you want to do a photo book? Well, if you don't want to go down the road or the expense of printing your own photographs or your own images, or you don't want to go and spend thousands of dollars on printers and ink, or you don't trust uh, an outside source, well then, I suggest you look at doing a photo book because these photo books... Um, something tangible, something to hang on to. Um, I do uh, four of these a year. Now, the reason why I do that is because in our country, obviously, and all around the world, we have seasons. We have autumn, winter, spring, and summer. So every three months, I produce a book and read about 60 to 80 pages. Now, um, this particular one is a combination of all the four seasons. So I've done, we make five books this year, but I usually do four and every book corresponds with the season. So if I do an, if I do an autumn, autumn book, it's all autumn images, same with winter, summer and spring. Now, um, I only use one company, been using them for some time now. Now I'm not being paid by this company to recommend them. It's just that they are fantastic to deal with. They're very, very professional. Um, if you haven't made a photo book before, I suggest you click on the link that I'm going to give you at the bottom of this um, video and just have a look at their platform. Uh, basically, you download their software and you upload your images and there's various things you can do like hardcover, softcover, leather, leather bound. This is called what we call a flat lay book where all the images lay flat. Okay, so... It's just a fantastic way of improving your photography doing photo books. Um, now, a good thing about these things is that there could be times where you fall into a rut, you fall into a hole and you're thinking, my God, I'm losing interest in photography or I don't know where to go or you know, I've just lost the, the, the drive. Well, if you've been doing photo books, you can have a look at them and this, these things will initiate um, some interest with you. It'll get your mind thinking and the blood flowing through your body and you think, yeah, I've got to get back out there. One thing I do with these books and I find it very, very helpful is that um, if the weather's really, really bad and you can't get out, it's just impossible, um, you can sit down in your lounge room with a nice, nice, um, nice drink and go through your photo books because what that does, that that gives you that urge, it gives you that, um, uh, it creates um, a feeling that you want to get back out there and start doing it again. And, and that's why photo books are fantastic. And there's many reasons why photo books are great and why I really think you should be doing them. Um, 
They also, uh, you can show people your work. You can take them to work with you, show the people in the office, show the people, even show the boys out on the job site. I mean, people by nature are very inquisitive. They want to know things. They want to know what you're doing. Show them, show them what you do. Be proud of what you do. I mean, you work very hard for your images, so why not put them in, in a nice photo book like this? And I just think it's another way of helping you um, achieve greatness within your photography. I, I, there's, there's plenty of other ways to um, improve as a photographer, um, not necessarily by going out and buying the latest and greatest equipment. You don't need to do that. That's just a waste of money. But by doing photo books, um, I think you'll find that it gives you something tangible, something heavy to hang on to. Um, it's a beautiful presentation. I just picked black and white because that's what the colours are of this channel. Um, but you can do all different types and it's, it's bound very well. Um, yeah, just fantastic to do. So I think um, if you're looking at another way of presenting your work and you don't really want to go down the road of printing, as I said, Think about doing a photo book. Um, you don't have to do four a year like I do, but I do because I like to, I'm a very organized sort of man. And I like to, and it gives you, um, by doing it the way I do it personally, it gives me um, a project. So we're in uh, spring now, so we are now photographing um, scenes that correspond with spring. So uh, the colors. With autumn, it's a bit different. You get the autumn colours. So you match what we call, you match the hatch to your photo book with your images. So it's a great subject, this. It's fantastic. It's um, I think it's something that we should all be doing, actually. And you can leave them on your coffee table when realities come over. Friends, show your neighbours. Show your work. Be proud of what you do. Don't leave it on one of these darn computers or in your phone or on an SD card or on a hard drive. Get them out and get them seen by people. Plus also too, photo books like printing will help you become a better photographer. There is no doubt about that. So tell me, just let me know what you think. Do you do photo books? Have you ever thought about doing one? As I said, the company I use is a Victorian company. It's an Australian company. Yes, it's an Australian company and we support them. So I'll put the link to that company down below in the description box below this video. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you do photo books? Have you ever thought about doing one or you're not quite sure? Um, you can contact me through this channel or via social media. You can contact me there um, via email as well. So um, yeah, look, let me know what you think. I think it's a great subject and it's something that I think all serious photographers should be doing and that is making a photo book or even printing your images. So let me know what you think. Well, that's it for another episode of Style for Photography. Thank you for joining me here today. Um, as I said, I've just rec I'm still recuperating from an operation I had. Probably got about another couple of weeks ago before I can pick up the camera bag because it's very heavy. Um, but other than that, I'll endeavour to put a few more videos out before I actually get out on, into the landscape. So until then, my name's Glenn Samuel. You've been watching Style for Photography. I really appreciate it. And as I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends. But most of all, you keep shooting. Keep smiling. Bye for now.